What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm back with one of my favorite things to do here on the channel and that is a building on a budget series. In this series we try to build decks for under a hundred dollars that includes shipping, that includes everything, 40 card main deck, 15 card extra deck, under $100. The reason why I do like to include shipping is because a lot of people try to sell you on cheap decks. However, for me, I want to be real and honest with you guys because when you guys are buying cards online, there's going to be a shipping cost. So for that reason, we're keeping it under $100. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. And in today's video, I'm actually doing one of my favorite decks of all time, and that is Dino. And we got this deck to under $60. This deck is insanely competitive. We make use of some of the most broken cards and the most broken strategies in today's format. And again, it's all under $60. I believe it's like $59, something like that. And if you guys wanna see any more building on a budget or any other ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. And this way I can put those together for you guys. So thank you guys all for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. And with that, let's get into the deck profile. All right, so as usual, just before we get into the deck profile, I do wanna show you guys how much this deck will cost. There is 55 items over here, 40 in the main deck, 15 in the extra deck, and it's going to cost a total of 74.46. It's about $75. guys. While I was editing this video, I actually went through my cart and I was like, $74? I think that's way too much. I actually optimized it even further and got the deck down to $58. That's $59. So in the video, I'm going to say $74 throughout the video, but I actually got it down to $59. It's still 55 cards. You guys can see, still 55 cards. Unfortunately, it's more packages. However, it actually optimized the cart super, super well. So $59. $59. For the entire deck. So to get started off with today's deck profile, we're going to be starting off with three Soul Eating Ovi Raptor, three Baby Sarasaurus, as well as one Petite Pteranodon. I really like this package. We're playing the one Miscellaneousaurus, as well as the two Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Now I will say this just before we keep going with the video, you guys are going to see some of the synergies with the scrap stuff, with the scythe package that you can still play in this deck. And I do want to say that this deck is a going first build of dinos. The reason I decided to do a going first build of dinos is because a a lot of the going second cards, the good going second cards in today's format are relatively expensive and they don't fit in our $100 budget. So for that reason, I said, why not make a going first build that is just as competitive, still very, very viable, and you don't have to be spending $30 on your evenly matched or your lightning storms. Even though lightning storm is going to get reprinted in the mega tins, it's still about like a $15 card at the moment. So why spend your budget on that where you can still keep it under $100 and you guys are going to see this. So that's why we're playing these engines that you guys are going to see but yeah like i said earlier we are playing the two conductor tyranno we're playing the two archosaur still and we're playing the one qualis now qualis is a card that i usually cut in a lot of my dino builds however i think in this one especially in a budget build it does make a lot of sense it's also a really good target that you can send off foolish burial so this card is insanely powerful as well as the one giant rex as well like you can't play dino without this card then we are playing the one pancratops even though this is a going first build pancratops is still really really good keep in mind that in certain combo scenarios you can pop your petite pteranodon and then you can summon a level four or higher dinosaur type monster from your deck to your side of the field but it can't attack the really cool thing is if you pop your petite you can actually summon your pank and just hold the pank there because what ends up happening is now on your opponent's turn even if you're going first right you summon pank and then on your opponent's turn you just use the pank effect to pop a card so this is still another form of disruption even though you're going first but of course if you're forced to go second special pank Pank deals with a lot of stuff in today's format. So this card is really good. And then we are playing the True King Lithosagem. Now, why am I playing this? Because we are playing a little bit of a field spell version of the deck. We're playing and abusing some of the really good field spells. And Diagram is, of course, one of those. Now, keep in mind, Diagram can pop stuff like your Baby Sarasaurus and your Petite Pteranodon, which is really good for you. And then Lithosagem can also do the same thing. Keep in mind, the really cool thing about Lithosagem is before the best targets were just the babies. And don't get me wrong, the babies are still the best targets. However, the scrap raptors are also earth so worst case scenario you can pop like a single baby or a scrap raptor or if you have an extra scrap raptor plus a giant rex in your hand and then you can get the lithosagem's effect which is insanely powerful you can banish three monsters from different names your opponent's extra deck this is insanely powerful and this is a big body on board for you as well so i really like this card then of course we are playing the scrap package so we're playing three scrap raptor as well as the one scrap chimera we're not playing scrap golem i don't think you need it it's just more bricks in this deck it's a very straightforward package but it's still a very powerful package and then we're playing the one jet synchron the one scythe and the one nemesis keystone i will say this though the really cool thing about scythe is you can still scythe lock your opponent and stay under budget the really cool thing is there is a really 
really cool budget card for Baron de Fleur. If you guys don't know the combo, I'll just explain it real quick. Pretty much you end on Halka Fibrax on your turn. On your opponent's turn, you tag out Halka Fibrax into your TG Wonder Magician. TG is going to pop the artifact Scythe. Scythe will summon itself back. And then you can use the TG as well as the Scythe to Synchro Summon. Now Baron de Fleur is the card that most people want to go into. However, there's a really cool option that I'm going to show you guys in just a second. But we are playing the Scythe package just because it's still really, really powerful. The Keystone as well is also really powerful because you get into Naturia Beast Axis with this, which is insanely powerful, right? That's that's just so, so good. And it just provides you with another extender. It special summons itself to the side of the field. But if it's banished, so if you banish this off of something like your double evolution pill, it actually adds itself back to the hand, which is really good because it just keeps advantage going for you. Speaking of double evolution pill, we're playing two of them. Of course, this deck is still dinos and this is still one of the best cards. So you're going to be playing two of these. We're playing three Fossil Dig, of course, not once per turn Rota. Why wouldn't you play this? We're playing the one Foolish Burial. Foolish is really good because like I said, it does send Qualys, but you can also send stuff like Giant Rex, which is still really, really relevant. And then we're playing the one Upstart Goblin. Again, you have no draw power in this deck. So instead of 40, why not just play 39 cards, right? So the one Upstart Goblin, and then we're playing the two Lost Worlds, the one Draconic Diagram, the one Mystic Mine. I know, don't hate me, but we're playing the one Mystic Mine, as well as one Terraforming and one Set Rotation. So I'm going to explain this package just a little bit. I think there's like a reason, a good reason to explain this package. So first things first is Lost World is a great card in Dino, right? However, the thing is with Lost World is it does always require extra cards to combo off with it. So you're not playing three of these. You are still playing the two because it is a good set rotation target. However, having access to your diagram is really good with a baby because it just gives you another form to combo. I'll just say this. If you guys want to check out any of my Dino combo videos, I've already had a ton on the channel. So you guys can check those out. It does not change the combos with this deck at all. However, the really cool thing is diagram gives you an additional combo. So if you guys don't know, OV plus baby is combo. Baby plus Misk is combo. OV plus Misk is also combo. So you have so many different ways to combo. And the really cool thing about Diagram is Diagram makes it so that Diagram plus Baby is also combo. So this is just another card that helps you combo. And then you are playing the Mystic Mind. I hate to say it, when you're playing cards like Terraforming and Set Rotation, Mystic Mind is just really, really good to play, especially in today's format. People have to have the out. And when you're playing Dino, if you don't open the best hand, you can just sit on the Mystic Mind, try to wait until you fix your hand, then you can activate a Diagram or a Lost World. So at that point, you can out your own Mystic Mind, which is really nice, right? So Mystic Mind, don't get me wrong, it's not a card that we're trying to abuse, but it is a very good card and we can fit it within our budget. So for that reason, to be competitive, we are gonna be playing the one Mystic Mind. And again, Terraforming, Performing set rotation gets you to all of these as fast as possible. So I really like this lineup here. Then we're playing the one called by the grave, of course, and the three cyclones. Now I was actually debating what these last three cards could be. I think cosmic cyclone is actually a perfect card to put in this. And the reason for that is because what was I just talking about? Mystic Mind. This card is all over the place. Every deck needs to be running an out to Mystic Mind, unfortunately. And Dino doesn't really have a searchable out. So for that reason, I think three Cosmic Cyclone is still very, very important. So we're playing the three of these. That's it for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck. And the really cool thing about this deck right here is it doesn't really differ from the non-budget builds that much. The extra deck is mostly where it differs. And the only thing I guess you could say is prosperity. But the rest of the Dino stuff is still good Dino stuff, right? So this deck is still very powerful. And then we're going to go on to the extra deck. Okay, we're starting off with the Crimson Blader. You guys might be asking me why. To be honest with you, I wanted to put a Borload Savage Dragon in here. The cheapest copy of Savage Dragon is about $24. And I was like, okay, if we put in Savage, take out Crimson Blader, Crimson Blader is like a buck, maybe a buck 50, then it ends up being a hundred exactly. So in theory, you guys can put the Savage Dragon in here. However, I did want to give us a really good, powerful card in today's format. I think that a lot of people are sleeping on and that's Crimson Blader. It's one of the best eights going second because if you can attack into a tier limit player, they actually can't do anything after you attack with the Crimson Blader. It pretty much completely locks them out. It does the same thing with Despia as well. I know Despia is not as popular anymore, but with the Megatins and Despia, you know, probably going to be a lot cheaper of a deck people might be on that as well so crimson blader is insanely good against despia as well so i really like this card is our eight of course if you guys can fit that savage dragon you want to hit 100 on the dot you guys can do that as well we're playing the one naturia beast there's obviously a combo with the nemesis keystone to make naturia beast which is very powerful in today's format one tg wonder magician and this is the card that is the budget version of baron and that is master flare hyperion all you're doing with this card is really it's giving you access to a level 10 that you can use with your tg wonder magician but it actually has a really cool effect 
where if your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish a fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, which means now you can banish the scythe that's in your graveyard, right? And then essentially you can target a card on the field and banish another card on the field. So it's another form of disruption for you, even though it's not an Omni Negate like Baron is, it's still a form of disruption, which is really, really nice. So this is the budget version of Baron if anyone wanted to play Baron and you know, Baron's like 120 bucks or something like that. So yeah, if you, if you need a budget version, this card is insanely powerful. And then we're playing the one Logia as well as the two Dolka. Logia is really cool, but however, when these end boards, Logia is actually not as good as just making a Dolka because uh, Monster Negate is just really, really powerful. Two Monster Negates with Dolka is just really powerful. So that's why we're playing the two Dolka and the one Logia. Then we're playing the one Gallon Granite. This is used in part of your combo to get to your Nemesis Keystone. So you want to be playing this. We're playing the one Scrap Wyvern, of course, for your combos. One Halka Fibrax, of course, for your combos. Link Karibo, Dagda, Dagda is going to get you into your scythe, which is really powerful. One Pentastag, we're playing one Secure Gardener, and we're playing one Unchained Abomination. Now, I will say this, why are we playing Unchained Abomination? Well, typically, actually, Dino likes to go into Apollo Yusa, but the problem with Apollo is that it's still, like, even at its cheapest form, I think, like, $15. Now, technically, again, we're at $74, so you guys can fit in the Apollo if you want. I just really want to keep it as budget as possible, right? So, if you guys wanted to fit in the Apollo, make it, like, $90-ish, you guys can do that as well well however abomination is really really good because it just takes any two monsters including a link monster all you're going to need to use is pretty much your scrap wyvern in part of your combo and then any other two monsters to make into abomination abomination has a really cool effect where if a card on the field is destroyed by card effect it can pop another card on the field so it's really good in the sense because if you think about your ty tyranno your ultimate conductor tyranno destroys a monster you control to flip all cards your opponent controls in face down defense position but if you're using this then abomination can pop another card same thing if you're forced to go second or you have this on the board you can use a diagram to pop a card you control abomination is going to trigger to pop another card so abomination is really good because it's going to get you extra pops over and over again but again like i said this deck is only 74 dollars so if you guys wanted to try the savage dragon try to fit that in you guys can definitely try to do that same thing with the apollo if you guys want to put in the apollo take out the abomination you guys can do that as well these are just budget alternatives to some pretty pricey cards so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this is the main deck 40 cards 15 cards in the extra deck, only $74 a full dino deck including some really good combos imagine like scythe locking your opponent this is a very meta thing to do in today's format so being able to do that all under a hundred dollars i think that's a win and i think you guys should definitely try this deck out so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now you guys may have heard me say 74 dollars in the video however during the editing process i actually went through it again and i got it down to under 60 dollars so trust me you can get this deck for under 60 dollars it's very very possible it's very very doable and the best part about it is if you actually check out any of my combo videos, which I have on the channel already, they don't differ too much with this deck versus the other profiles I've done. So you guys can check those out and the combos with this deck are insane. It's insanely competitive. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. Who else do you know is uploading five days a week? I guess Team Sam, Rhyme Style. I, I guess I guess they do, but I upload five days a week, so make sure you guys subscribe. We're almost at 7,000. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, thank you for signing out. Peace.